gentlemen in court. Um, you know, our studio buddy, he wanted to come on the road, so make me welcome. Bluegrass in um, the unlikely town of San Diego, California. Um, I uh, came came across it and uh, just kind of fell in love instantly. I was I was pretty pretty honest. Seven or eight. And. Um, Um, at the time, when I, you know, I was kind of like 12, 13, when my, my friends were listening to, you know, starting to get into what was popular music on the radio, and rock and rap and stuff like that, uh, my parents kind of went through a strict phase, and they, uh, they didn't really allow us to, um, to listen to that stuff, but we weren't allowed, we weren't allowed to listen to, um, you know, old bluegrass, old country music, and, um, newer stuff too, but, um, I quickly found that um, the the lyrical content in these old songs, old country songs, and bluegrass songs, was as bad, if not worse, than what was, what was on the radio. Um, and I say it's worse because um, maybe worse because it was so blatant. Um, they really went into detail about you know. There's a whole genre of mur murder ballads that are really they're really great. There's a bunch of them. Um, I know a few. Uh, and, the most disturbing part, maybe, is how happy these songs sound. Um, with the, uh, really dark lyrics, and they they're they're very explicit about you know you know how you know well. So there's four. I, I have sort of in my mind four sort of categories for bluegrass lyrics, and you can kind of uh, put them into these four categories by way of a, a, a murder ballad itself, um, and that is. Um, a young Appalachian man uh, is working on a family farm somewhere in Virginia, probably, or West Virginia, um, Kentucky, North Carolina, also could be, could be in the mix there. Um, anyway, he's um, working on his family farm. Maybe think everything's great. Falls in love with the, you know, the prettiest girl in town. They're engaged to be married, and um, everything's great. They would go on walks together down by the river. And, until one day he um, he catches her maybe kind of looking at a friend of his uh, and uh, apparently the only uh, thing you can do at that point is to drown her in the local river <laughs> um, or uh, beat her with a stick that you pick up off the ground that's that's another option uh, as in the, the, the old chestnut uh, Knoxville girl anyway um, these are very brutal, brutal songs, and uh, and I, I do love them. I, I feel like they're, they're really great. I've done enough uh, sad, slow songs uh, for you guys tonight, so I, I don't want to subject you to any more of that. But um, uh, anyway, so this uh, this young Appalachian man, after he commits this ghastly, violent crime, uh, a lot of times in, in these songs will go home, uh, and not surprisingly, he's still living with his mother. And in some cases, in one case, she gets up and uh, you know asks him, um, uh, you know, uh, saying, "Dear son, what have you done to bloody your clothes?" So that's the lyric. And the next line is, um, "I told my anxious mother I was bleeding at my nose. She went to bed and everything was fine." Um, so he starts to feel remorseful, you know, sad for what he's done. Maybe he didn't do the right thing. Maybe maybe he shouldn't have. I've drowned his, his fiance in the river. And, uh, and so that leads to a bunch of um, songs of repentance. There's a lot of gospel songs. Um, and uh, those are really great, too. There's a bunch of those. And then, uh, but then there's also a category that's just sort of thinking about nostalgic things. Thinking about home and family and things you miss. 
lots of those, and I'll, I'll do one of those for you guys. This is one that I, I learned very, very early on. Um, spent many a, a night around a campfire um, in, a, in my parents' motorhome playing with, with friends. Um, this is one, one of those songs. It's about going home. Bill Monroe wrote it. He, he, he's going home, and he's very, you know, excited about it. Driveway that leads back back up there, and when he gets there, it's all overgrown. Parents, and family, they're all dead and gone. Um, but he, he's home, and that's that's cool. That's about as happy as bluegrass can get there. <laughs> Let me try that last part again. <laughs> 